Monday. It's actually the 4th of July. And happy Independence Day to those of us that live here in the United States. I'm enjoying one of my smoothies. And also I've got my water here that I shared on my last vlog with the frozen peaches and pineapple and fresh mint and the passion tea bag in here, my water. Uh, so I'm gonna do some work. I wanna jump on first and say, welcome back to the Diaries of Karen. All right, friends, still here in the same spot. I've gotten, gotten up, done a few things. It's gotten so hot out here. So thank God for my Mr. Fan. If you guys remember, um, I got that last year and it's been just absolutely wonderful, wonderful. But I'm replying to comments from last um, my last vlog where you guys all shared songs that like your like favorite kind of summer song. I am loving reading these comments. So I've been pulling them up on my laptop and listening to them. And oh my gosh, you guys have such great taste. And I just want to let you know like how much I'm enjoying them. So I'm really glad you shared those with me. I want to be sharing more things that I want to, you know, have you guys share back with me on this vlog. Um, I'm going to start getting ready for the moms. We're going to pick them up here soon. And uh, for our little 4th of July, little, little cookout. Right, friends, where I'm getting ready to uh, get stuff going here for dinner. Mark went to get the moms. And on right now, because uh, again, this is the 4th of July. So when you guys are seeing us like a week or so later, but um, they're doing that Nathan's hot dog eating contest. It literally makes me want to throw up. I can't even watch it. Mark loves to watch it. I'm like, how can you watch that? It literally makes me sick. So if you guys have watched it or watched it, let me know, please, in the comment section. I really want to know because it's just so funny. Mark's like, come on, it's coming on. I'm like, no, no, no. I have to leave the room right now. Okay, so speaking of hot dogs, I'm going to go get everything ready for the grill. I was lost in a city dream and I was at home again beside the stream. And you walk past me and you saw Good morning friends. Smile. Happy Tuesday. It's a gloomy day here today. Um, but it's going to clear up perfectly in time for when we go golfing this afternoon with Allie and Jake. Of course, I'm not gonna golf, I'm just gonna go along for the ride. But of course it is Tuesday today, which is filming day. So, okay. You guys ready for this? Some of you are going to be like, Karen, hold your horses, slow it down. And others are going to be like, bring it on. But okay, we have to do this. Yes, we do. But we are actually headed to Hobby Lobby to film what's going to be trending in fall day court 2022. And I know it seems early, but friends, we always bring this video out towards the end of July. And it's that time to start filming it. Um, plus I need to get some ideas because I got a new, you know, kitchen, granite in the kitchen. We've got some new pieces here in the house. So I do have things I need to change up a little bit. So I want to get some ideas myself. So we like to get this all out to you because of the fact that, you know, I know a lot of you like some inspiration. I know summer just started, but what we do as influencers or whatever you want to call us, YouTubers, whatever. Uh, we like to give you guys, uh, just some ideas ahead of time. So that's why we do it early for all of you, okay? So I'm excited though, because you know I love the fall season. I am not rushing summer by no means, but my wheels are always spinning for the next season just to uh, see what I can change up a little bit. And really I like to do it for me, but mainly I like to do it for all of you too. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead. I just took Archie out. I'm gonna make myself a smoothie and head out the door. Lauren and I just got done filming and now I'm going to run into Sam's Club. I've not been in here forever. And um, one of my friends shared something in here that I really want to see if they still have it. So let's head on in and I'll share it with you. Tell you what, not bad for coming out of Sam's Club. Look at this yummy cheddar jalapeno skinny pop. Yummy. Brushed pineapple, just some oranges because I love to do my orange fennel salad some bananas for smoothies and then the on the rocks which is my absolute favorite cocktail right now you guys it's so so good and they have this four pack so my favorite one is the jalapeno pineapple margarita though the regular margarita one is really good too but this is my absolute favorite so excited about that so that's it i did really good coming out of there with only five things i am home and i'm going to make myself a delicious fennel and orange salad 
And, but real quick, I, this jalapeno cheddar, this massive bag is so delicious, you guys. If you can get your hands on it, you have to get it. So I'm gonna go ahead and make myself a salad and then do a little editing from today's videos. And then uh, we're gonna go out here in a little bit, golfing with Allie and Jake. And uh, it should be so much fun. We have, Mark and I have a ball when we do stuff, um, you know, with all of our kids. So this will be a little bit fun to spend some time with them me and every once in a while i'll get out and i'll hit a golf ball i mean not that i don't mind i'm just horrible um but we have a lot last which is the best part this is so so yummy the perfect refreshing salad for a sweltering hot day like it is today so here's a little extra that i made for tomorrow and here's my salad for now okay so out here on the golf course Ooh, I think I hear thunder. That might not be a good thing. Oh, maybe it's music. I think it's music. Oh yeah, it is. You say take me on a treasure hunt. I long for something new. Have you heard the fairies when they sing and dance? Oh, I wish it was me. Wednesday. I have not worked out for a few days and I am feeling it. So today I'm doing my fire workout. Got myself ready, all my stuff out. Normally if it's nice and we have the TV out on the patio, I'll do it out there. But since um, it's going to rain this afternoon, I'm going to do it here in my office. Because I have my Roku TV, that makes it so much easier. And I'm drinking my energized to give me extra energy for today's workout i'm probably going to be sore it's been a few days but i need to get back on my routine so here we go wish me luck <laughs> but i can't wait hey 30 minutes from now we'll be all done and i'll feel so proud of myself jericho and i will be working out with these lovelies here in a few minutes it is leg day baby all right leg day i'm gonna get to it friends all right, I did my workout. So now I'm gonna have my um, post-workout breakfast. So I do love to do the rolled oats. I love the rolled oats. And um, so I'm gonna go ahead and make these in the microwave and I'm gonna add some berries. But then I wanna do most important, this is my um, post-workout. I love this is stuff I said that tastes like brownie batter. But you guys, this is so good because it helps with sore muscles promotes lean muscle synthesis, combats exercise induced muscle soreness, which I know I'm gonna have, and improves muscle strength recovery. So if you guys have something like this, make sure you do that like within 30 minutes of working out because um, I think it's just so important. I can 100% feel a difference if I do not use this compared to when I do. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this together for my breakfast this morning. chocolate gooey gooey yumminess it really is so good um super hot mm, this is so good i'm gonna go enjoy this i'm gonna do my devotions when i did not do that yet um i just checked my email so i'm gonna i think take it we're gonna take a road trip i think we're gonna go to nordstrom um i get to uh pick pick the things that i want um as far as the anniversary sale on Saturday, and they're allowing me to come in and check out stuff, and um, I'm gonna go do that, try on a bunch of things, and um, to see, you know, maybe the things that were on my wish list that I can take off, uh, or maybe add a few things, and just narrow it down a little bit. So we're gonna take a road trip after I finish my breakfast devotion, take a shower, and wanna hit the road. So it's 9.20, I gotta get moving. Okay, friends, I just looked at the radar, and I think we're going to get some rain. So it's coming from Ohio and heading then towards PA. So I'm going to try to drive ahead of the rain, and hopefully once I'm in Nordstrom, it can rain, and hopefully it clears back up again by the time I head back home. Um, but I'm looking forward to this. By the time I think my vlog comes out when um, 
when it's open for everyone, the Nordstrom anniversary sale. So hopefully you can watch this vlog and maybe get some more tips. And you know, this will be fun. I wanna take you guys like shopping with my friends. So we're gonna go shopping together. I think it's gonna be a great time. Okay, I made it here in an hour. Went and filled up my gas tank, so I'm set to go for the way home. We're at Nordstrom. Let's go see what they've got. Alrighty, all in all, I think it really was a successful trip here to Nordstrom. Um, I tried on a few things and uh, of what they had for my wish list and some of them um, I did not like at all the way they fit but the great thing is I finally did get an actual much better bra fitting and I'm so happy about that um, yeah I just I got ended up buying three bras though they weren't on the sale but who cares at this point I wanted some good bras actually I'm wearing one I wore one out I was so excited um, shoes i tried on all the shoes that i wanted know exactly what fits and what i love um which is great and beauty i checked out all the beauty stuff i think i have a few more beauty things now added to my wish list and then some other things taken off my wish list so um yeah all in all i think it was successful uh, i'm glad i came and um, i think maybe i might set up because i always get emails they want to set me up with a stylist and I think maybe Lorna and I will come back with a stylist and maybe film it and just see what they sell us as. It'll be really interesting to know. This one girl was so sweet and I just had so much fun chatting with her. So I got myself a yummy, delicious salad. I'm going to eat it here in the parking lot before I head home because it's already 3 o'clock. I'm not going to get home till 4. Right, friends, I am home. I call it was a successful trip to Nordstrom. You guys, that salad was probably one of the best salads. I have ever had. Okay, here's dinner some grilled corn and grilled tuna and uh, this Good yummy morning, stuff. friends. Yeah, I got my glasses on. I'm heading out the door. Archie is getting groomed this morning. So I took a shower, put my makeup on, and literally just ran my fingers through my hair. I'll fix it when I get home. So he doesn't like the groomer. Not at all, but he, he'll be fine once he gets there. So this is going to be quite the experience. So let me get him in the car real quick. And I'll check in with y'all when I get back. But happy Thursday. Alrighty, I am home. I decided to do something with this hair. And I threw a few little loose curls in. I know you guys, I did this I think maybe in our Nordstrom video. And you guys liked it wanted to do tutorial, tutorial. And I honestly, I just, I don't even know what I do. I just do it so fast. I don't like curly curl. Mine, I like this like super loose curl. So I'm not sure. Anyway, I mean... It's just, it's, it is easy. Maybe I'll try to show you. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, I have a coaching call today at noon and then I'll go back and pick up Archie from his groomer. Uh, and we'll probably maybe do something with friends tonight, but, um, I'm so excited about this coaching call. I, I cannot wait. Um, but, um, in the meantime, I'm going to make some coffee and I'm going to do a little orchid work, but then I want to share with you guys, um, this wine, my sister, well, let me let me get my, make my coffee and then we're gonna have a little conversation. Guys, I'm gonna take a few minutes and share this amazing wine that my sister told me about. She was, uh, she's getting her second master's degree and she uh, went to Austin, Texas and met this wonderful company and she's, my sister called me right from the event, just, I just talked to this girl. You guys should be all over this. She goes, this wine is fabulous and she likes to do collabs and she would love to send you guys some wine, Lauren and I. And we're like, well, we're all in. So my sister was so excited about it. And Lauren and I, I sent her all the information. I said, let's pick out each, maybe a white or a red. We did that. All of our stuff comes in this like nice little black envelope. Presentation is stunning. I'm gonna input that here about the presentation. Beautiful. Uh, with these profile cards, it explains each of the wine uh, that you get so you know exactly what it is, the notes and even recipes that you can make with it. Um, a um, something that explains about the company and like your house wine has arrived and they got member concierge service. So this is so, this is high end you guys, super cool. Um, so basically they're female founded and led. Um, they wanna change the way we drink wine. They wanna have that kind of European flair. They want, when we share with our friends and family to be theirs. Um, you get four bottles in each box and it stays fresh for six weeks. You guys, I love this one in box. And they're so beautiful. I mean, they are beautiful to be put out in your bar area or on your counter. And um, they offer three whites, one rosé, and let me see, four reds. You, like I said, you guys are gonna get a coupon code. But if these were bottled, 
um, their whites would go around forty to fifty dollars per bottle because they're dropping the middle man. That's why we get it. I like it at like maybe thirteen fifty per bottle because you get four in here. So you guys are getting a special special price because of us. And then the reds will be fifty to sixty per bottle. So you guys are getting um, great wine. It's direct. Um, to the customer and they're able, like I said able to cut out the middleman. So I wanted to let you know that um, This truly is it's great wine. It's not some cheap crap wine. I you know Lauren and I love her wine So but you know, it's so cool. They also give back so with each purchase they give back to um, Something that really fills their heart. It could be either um, a community or a cause-based program or um, whatever it is that they feel that fills their heart with with whatever they can do to give back they do give back which i think it's super cool so it's a uh, female founded and led and austin born napa made so let's go ahead and let me share more about this wine we're going to do a little taste test all right friends real quick i was looking at the membership um all the membership great things that come along with being a member here so first of all you guys are getting a special price for life because you're two orchids you're our lovely subscribers um each box that is made they plant a tree um the box is compostable they also have a recyclable bag inside and come september i think they're going to have refillable bags which is super cool um did i say right you can you can stop pause there's no fees or anything like that as being a member and um nothing like that you just sign up choose what wine you want and have it directly shipped to you you can pause it Starp it, whatever you want to do. Um, also, say you're going to be out of town for a month or so, and you're like, oh my gosh, I can't get, I'm not going to get wine that month. If you want, you can redirect it to someone else, like your neighbor, your friend, one of your children who's legal to drink, <laughs> those kind of things. So, so many great things, you guys. All in all, these women hit it out of the park, and I am so excited to be a part of this program with them and to have this lovely wine in our home. I, I can't wait. So, I'm I'm a member. I'm sure Lauren will be too. So I wanted to let you know that. Okay, so this is the wine. Um, I chose to, I sent some to Lauren and I said, Lauren, um, you know, which one, you know, do you, if you have a preference, which two would you choose? And we both had the same ones. So go figure that. Uh, okay, so the first one is number four. And you can see, I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's a ruby, vibrant, soft, dry, red wine. Um, it's got like a cherry, raspberry, earth, light, silky, dry, Pinot Noir, and um, Barbera, and Gamay, uh, I guess, are like the uh, grapes. And they also act, well, they'll tell you what it pairs really well with. And you can scan the QR code to get recipes, uh, which is so super cool. Um, so we'll go ahead and taste this one here in a minute. Okay, so the tasting notes for number one. This one is a bright, clean, crisp, and dry. Um, it's a citrus green apple are the notes. Um, Sauvignon Blanc, Pinot Gris, and Alberino. Um, and again, this also has a QR code that you can print up some different recipes or pull up recipes. It's a really inviting, crisp white. There's zero residual sugar, which I think is huge. It's refreshing with a citrus for it's uplifting and light. And here is the card. Um, I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see that, but this was, is the card on this one. And again, these each come with a card, which is uh, which is, I think is so great to have all this kind of information. And the fact that you can print up, you know, click on the QR code and get some recipes and, and things that it pairs well with. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're gonna try out the red and look you can see you just sort of push down and here we go we're gonna try this one here in a second then I will I'm gonna go ahead and pour the white I'll have something in between but I can tell you I've been really digging into both of these and I'm gonna give these to Lauren because she wants to taste them and share her thoughts as well all right we're gonna try out these delicious wines Okay, so we're gonna do the white first. And, oh gosh, honest, you guys know how much we love Pinot Grigio. I mean, and this is a combination, like I just um, shared with you. Oh, so good. So clean and so crisp. Jody even tried it the other day and she loved it too. So, delicious, very light, the red. This is magnificent. It really is. 
I love the color. I can always tell from the color that I'm going to like it. I love the smell. The smell just gives me goosebumps. It's so good. Okay, so we're getting ready to head out. We're going to go to this kind of new Mexican restaurant tonight. Mike and Kim are coming over. I got this kind of uh, just a nudie color um, maxi on strapless it's so cute let me show you guys this new purse that we just got here's my outfit i'm gonna put some shoes on i have it so perfect i love this color i've had i guess i got this from actually amazon i'll link it last year but look at this new purse that we just got oh my gosh look at the gorgeous burnt orange has the bow it's such a nice size also has the bigger strap but anyway mike and kim are going to be here soon and I wanted to show you my outfit. I need to put some perfume on, some bracelets, and some shoes, and then we're gonna head on out. Friday. Yes, it's almost noon. I'm still in my pajamas because I'm taking um, this course and it's so interesting. I'm learning so much and I love it so much. Anyway, I'm making me a, a now lunch because you saw that I made breakfast, but I'm going to make a delicious margarita smoothie using my vanilla protein. This is so good and I can't wait to share it with you. So, I'm Okay, so I have some coconut milk with some ice um, in my cup here. I'm gonna go ahead and add my vanilla Shakeology and whatever vanilla protein drink you prefer. You can add that. It's not only healthy, but it, it just tastes like you're on a lovely tropical island. Okay, so I got my shake in there. I'm gonna go ahead, now it calls for frozen pineapple. I don't have frozen, so why not have the real thing and actually it's about a half a cup of frozen that's probably well maybe i'll add a little bit more because i like pineapple obviously all right we're gonna put that in there get this out of the way Best. so archie's jumping next to me because he knows that i'm gonna be turning on my blender here in a minute my ninja going to add a little little pinch of some sea salt I'm gonna go ahead and blend this up Alrighty. I'm sorry about the lighting behind me beyond beyond delicious that's all i can say if you guys make it let me know in the comment section mm, 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 mm. i'm gonna go continue taking my classes and enjoy this and then i need to change work out clean my kitchen it's a disaster zone but you know what this is all i have planned for the day we're gonna obviously go out tonight with friends but i'm just loving my day and i love to learn and it's just a beautiful day out. I got the windows open. It's just so perfect. So happy Friday, friends. Hi, friends, I finally showered. I did so much of the class I was taking. I loved learning and learned so much. I can't wait to just start implementing it for our channel. Mike and Kim are on their way over. And we're going to head down to a place that opened just recently. It's called um, Penguin City Brewery. And it's a really good delicious kind of a beer um if you like beer in the local area and we wanted to check it out so that's what we're going to do tonight so um we'll see how it is and see what they have to offer there and i'll bring you guys along hey guys so here is penguin city beer it's a brewing um it's brand new so this just opened we think like last week so
be an old still mail. So it looks like they still have some ways to go on here, but it's a pretty cool vibe. So we decided to stop at the Noble Creature. Yeah. Got a cute outdoor area. Um, we're gonna go check it out. Yeah, I agree. I like it out here. We're gonna have live music. This is super cute in here. So a little Youngstown history. This is called the boxcar. Oh, because there's b and Station over here. Hence why it's called boxcar. You know what's so neat about this place for all of you living in the Youngstown area? Is they actually have like a party room. How cute is this? To have like graduation parties or just, you know, 40, 50, 60th birthday parties. The doors will open up to the outdoor area for grilling. Oh my gosh, this is so super cool. TVs everywhere, speakers, such a cool, fun place. I just think it's always interesting to share different locations and places you can go and entertain and have family and friends together and especially in our local area. So I'm really proud of what they've done here. So our last stop was at the MVR. It's just total Youngstown here, you guys. Just, just different pictures of our coaches and football players and a lot of history of sports uh, here in the Youngstown area. All right, we're at the farmer's market. Got some fresh flowers. They got their fresh blueberries. Share with you seriously this is probably the best side dish recipe you're gonna need for the summer trust me when I tell you everyone is going to love it it's Mark's famous baked bean recipe so these are the different styles of the bushes beans that he adds to it kidney beans and we got some hot sauce he's gonna chop up some onion and saute that with some green pepper and we're gonna add a little brown sugar Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce, and a little bit of maple syrup. Okay, then the key ingredient is frying up some bacon and making sure it's nice and crispy. I'm gonna add all this together and put it in the crock pot. Okay, so he likes to drain the beans just a little bit, not a lot. So I got all three cans mixed together. Now I'm gonna go ahead, as you can see, and put them in the crock pot. And quite a few squirts of some hot sauce that give it that little bit of a zing. And then about a cup of brown sugar. Flop it on in. <laughs> and then I'm not sure how much we're going to put some maple syrup. Well, as you can see, puts quite a few squirts. Okay, and then the next is some Sweet Baby Ray's. Got some barbecue sauce. Yum. So next we strain the bacon, and now that's going to go in. Oh my gosh, you guys. It smells so good. And then the last thing to add is the saute peppers and onions. And you can adjust with hot sauce. If you want it to have a little bit more of a kick, you can add more or less, just depending on how you like it. And now we're just gonna cover it and put it on low for a couple hours. Trust me, this is gonna be your favorite summer side dish for your cookouts, family get-togethers. Uh, it's truly so good. If you guys make it, you have to let me know. All right, well, we're gonna have breakfast for lunch just because we've been wanting to have this this morning. Um, we're gonna make what is called kagoots, and what you do is you saute up some onion, 
and some zucchini and some olive oil or whatever oil you choose and then we're going to add some eggs and it's so delicious and it's like an italian uh recipe so if you guys have had this before let me know but this is a family favorite every time the kids come home that's what they want for breakfast there's the cagoots with some ezekiel bread and yes paper plates because i have a pile of dishes in there i have to do We're getting ready to head out to our first event tonight. We've got a party to go to, a birthday slash retirement party to one of Mark's clients. And then we have our neighborhood party that we're gonna come home to afterwards, hence why Mark made the baked beans. We bought some Camus wine to take to the first party. Here's my outfit. This super cute dress that we got when we were in Miami in February. Um, it's so cool and comfortable. It's perfect for a day like today. So we're gonna head over to our neighborhood um, party first. It doesn't start yet, but just to drop off what we're making. And then we're gonna head to the first party. Well, hi friends, happy Sunday. I'm out here on our beautiful patio doing some, some work and uh, just enjoying this beautiful day today. We had so much fun last night. Um, I didn't film, I didn't feel it was appropriate at a client's party. And by the time we got to our neighborhood party, everyone was just having such a great time. And I don't know how people feel about being filmed, so I did not. But then we had some couples over here last night on the patio. We had the best time. Uh, so this morning I'm just doing some work. And we're going to have the moms over for some ribs and some corn on the cob. And that's really about it. So I'm going to share with you before I end this vlog what I've got in store for the next vlog so that you guys know um, what's happening. We're going to have a fun week in store actually coming up this week. Um, I'm, I won't be vlogging though. Let me see. What do we have? Friday we're going to this like farm to table uh, dinner that you sit outside and, uh, it, and they like serve you. It's going to be super cool. And then Saturday uh, Mark and I are going to... Um, we Luke Bryan concert and it's going to be an outdoor concert and I cannot wait that's going to be super super fun so we've got that going on and then again I'm going to share it with you what we have in store for uh, our my next vlog so I'm going to go get some work done enjoy this beautiful day but I wanted to jump on and say good morning hey, supper club <laughs> <laughs> yummy this is better than being here. Alrighty, friends, I'm gonna get ready to end this vlog. It's been just a beautiful day today. And I just wanted to share with you just a few things that I'm gonna share on my next vlog. I know you all had asked about my new makeup routine. Not really new, but some things I've been doing lately. Um, you wanna know, what are you doing? So I thought I would share that. Uh, I know some of you also asked to do like a hair tutorial on the loose waves with my haircut and I will share that. And there's some more of my summer things that I love to do, things that are still on my bucket list uh, for my next vlog. So I hope you, oh, there goes a, a loud motorcycle, but I sure hope you tune in next time. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Love you guys so much. I've got a lot in store that I'm not vlogging this week, but if you do wanna follow along, be sure you follow us on our social media, uh, the Two Orchids Instagram and my personal Instagram. And then of course we're on TikTok. We're still practicing. So uh, please don't get too harsh with us. We're, we're learning. Uh, but again, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Love you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.